Welcome to Mr. Mitsubishi YouTube channel that covers a lot of Mitsubishi stuff. Uh, today we'll have a look at this. Uh, this is a 2022 Mitsubishi RVR Outlander Sport ASX. So depending which uh, country you're from, it's called a little bit different. And we will be turning this into an off-road edition. Uh, if you're new to this channel, by the way, feel free to browse through my channel's video. I do a lot of these upgrades on uh, RVRs, Outlander Sports, also on Outlanders. There's a whole bunch of different uh, videos on different kind of topics. And thank you to all subscribers. If you haven't subscribed yet, please click the subscribe uh, button. Do your part on growing the channel. Thank you so much. So let's have a look at this. So here's what we typically do. We typically take the uh, entry level, so the base uh, ES in Canada, uh, RVR, uh, and we deck it out so it's basically you can't even recognize the vehicle after we're done, right? So we'll be deleting the chrome right here on this dynamic shield. We'll be deleting this um, silver looking part on the uh, front grill. Uh, the other option is to go carbon fiber grill, but uh, this time I think we'll just delete the, uh, these lines so that way we'll see how it looks. Uh, then as we move along, of course, we will uh, swap out the wheels. We have um, off-road wheels in there. In the uh, back, probably uh, on the side, we're probably going to delete the, uh, uh, this uh, mirror uh, cap. So we'll just wrap it with uh, custom wrap. Also, put some, uh, you know, uh, roof basket. Uh, we'll put some uh, vent visors and uh, possibly even side moldings. We'll see how it uh, looks out. Inside, there's not much uh, we can do uh, inside. Dropping things left and right. So let's have a look. Uh, this is uh, ES trim level. We're probably gonna just uh, put uh, all weather floor mats so that way it just goes a little bit better with our uh, uh, 4x4 theme. Also, of course, we will definitely tint the windows. It'll look uh, very sharp or from the back. Um, most likely we'll just put the uh, bumper protector plate so that way, you know, if you're moving stuff in and out, uh, it'll be uh, much easier to do so. So now it's time to get to work, get all these upgrades lined up and uh, it's going to be just like magic. We take this uh, regular ES base Outlander Outlander Sport or Outlander Sport RVR ASX and turn into uh, a very good uh, off-road looking uh, vehicle. And now let's check out the end result, how we did it, what we've done to the vehicle, how it looks. I think it looks amazing. It's incredible how we took this uh, basic looking RVR Outlander Sport or ASX um, ES two wheel drive and we just turned it into this beautiful looking off-road uh, package vehicle so I mean we decked it to its fullest from front to back let's cover it uh, all right now what we did what kind of uh, changes we made and such so now uh, the front so what we did we deleted the chrome on the dynamic shield right here and then also blacked out uh, the front grille and we also installed the uh, bug deflector on the hood so hook deflector bug deflector they call it different names i think it looks really good it finishes off real nice especially with this octane blue color it gives you this two-tone feel for it right and it just looks bigger sportier and uh, a little bit like more massive right and i like it a lot how this three diamond logo here in chrome plays together with uh, mitsubishi motors logo on the uh, bug deflector looks absolutely nice and spectacular so then the other thing we can notice here we have these black crossbars and we have uh, the uh, the basket up right here so we don't have you know the chromes or nothing here just all black and black it looks really really good the other thing we can notice from 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 this point of view is a blacked out mirror caps from factory they come body color painted but we just uh black them out to match the entire off-road theme that we have going on okay so the side views of course the biggest thing is the wheel and package upgrade so we did put bf goodrich all-terrain tires there are uh 215 70s r16s and they're on rtx uh, aftermarket wheels i do get a lot of questions asked about the off-road package what kind of wheels and tires so there you go now you know by the way when you turn the wheel and drive they're not rubbing so it's a perfect size perfect fit the side view so we added these 
vent visors on the roof on, around the doors and windows. They look awesome, fit really well to this off-road edition. And then we added the uh, side molding right here. And this is the side molding RVR with this chrome line right here and the chrome RVR. I think it's just the right amount of chrome that plays together with white lettering on the sidewall of the tire and these center caps for the RTX wheels. So normally there wouldn't be no chrome, but this time just a little chrome and it gives you this contrast between, you know, the, the two-tone uh, two, uh, two contrast, right? Uh, the back here, we installed a Thule bike rack. So real off-road looking vehicle and it's perfect for outdoorsy activities. And on top of that, we also installed this bumper protector plate. If you take this vehicle out on your uh, adventures, you'll be putting in a lot of stuff in and out. And this bumper protector cover that just uh you know protects your your bumper from getting all scratched up so uh this time around we installed the bike rack just to show you how it's done and uh you know it's summer you can take out uh, this vehicle to your adventures so there we go this is how it looks i think it looks absolutely fantastic with all these elements it looks great and especially especially if we compare to just the base plain looking vehicle and what we did right now it's a huge huge difference so doesn't even feel like the same vehicle it just feels like something something else i think from the change point of view because this time around we added the hood deflector and the bike rack this is probably one that makes the biggest difference how it looks before and after the interior we didn't change anything the only thing we did we just put the all-weather mats you probably want that other than that the interior is the same so there we go this is how this modification this changeover turned out i hope you like it leave a comment if you do leave a comment if you don't i know that there's a lot of people who like uh this vehicle out there thank you so much for watching the video if you haven't subscribed to the channel please do so if you are a current subscriber, thank you so much and leave a comment. So there we go. Thank you for checking it out and uh, see you next video.